Hello guys, in this video, we are going to discuss about the derivation of rice stem. Now, rice stem is basically denoted by capital T and R. Let us see the definition first. It is the time required for the response to rise from, see rise stem basically, rise from 0 to 100, 0 to 100 of the final value for under damped system. There are two cases. One is under damped system, another one is over damped. And for over damped systems, the rise time is, it is the time required for the response to rise from 10% to 90%. Okay. So 10% it will be around here to 90%. Okay. So let us see first for the under damped system. It is basically you can see this curve 0 to, so I'll just show you this part graph. It is important. The x axis is time, y axis is the response. Okay. Transient response of the second order system. Under damped system, we are talking about it will be from 0. You can see the curve is going at reaching 100%, then it is crossing that it is going like this. Okay. So for the rise time, it is basically from 0 to 100%. How much time it is taking from here to here, here from starting from here to, to reach here, how much time it is taking? It is nothing but rise time. Okay. For the under damped system, for dam, it is from 10%. To 90 percent so we'll be talking about only the under dam system under dam 0 to 100 percent what is the time taking so it is nothing but rise time so let us see the definition of uh, derivation part so as we know c of t is given as 1 minus e power minus zeta omega n t by 1 minus zeta square into sine omega dt plus theta okay so this is the formula Next thing, this is C of t, okay. For rise time, always remember what we need to do. We have to substitute C of t, you have to write, and C of t, you have to substitute t is equal to tr. Whatever is that, t is equal to tr. At last, we will do that. Equal to 1, you have to put. This is the procedure. Equate it to 1. So, what will happen? C of t is nothing but this part. So, I will replace t with tr. So 1 minus e power minus zeta omega n t z t r divided by 1 minus zeta square into sine omega d t r plus theta equal to 1. Okay, I will put it as equal to 1. Now this one and this one will get cancelled. Simple thing, if you bring this, this side it will be minus 1 and here it is plus 1. So this two get cancelled. Correct. So I can write it as e power what is left minus e power minus zeta omega n tr by 1 minus zeta square into sine omega d tr plus theta is equal to 0. Now it will become equal to 0. Now here the thing is that for the equation to satisfy for this equation to satisfy this value should be equal to what 0 right equation will get satisfied only if this value will be equal to 0 since it is RHS part is 0. So I can write it as here sin omega d tr plus theta is equal to 0. For the equation to be satisfied sin omega d tr plus theta equal to 0. And for the for trigonometrically we can say that omega d tr which is plus theta which should be equal to n pi okay now for the this system to be or we can say for this situation to be satisfied what should be the n value n value should be one we'll consider it only one since we are considering for the first attempt to see it is attempting to reach zero to hundred percent so n value should be one okay so n when n value will be what one so what is remaining omega d tr plus theta is equal to pi so from this i can write the value of tr is equal to pi this will go that side minus theta by omega d this will be the final answer so tr is nothing but pi minus theta by omega d and and the unit is nothing but seconds okay time right so it will be seconds